guys hi so in this video we're going to talk about some basic three things before we get started so now let me just show you what what things we are going to start so first as you can see the title we will be getting started with the installation and then we will be seeing a small syntax of how you will be able uh, like how to exactly use it and what exactly uh, the syntax is telling and then finally we are going to talk about the ajax request so we will be sending our first basic simple ajax request without any javascript anything it will be everything on the element itself so let's get started with this so first installation is let's go to the website itself as you can see it's htmlx.org and here at the top i'm currently using the cdn version so now let me just show you the terminal also very quick so what i have done is i have uh, taken a simple uh, i created a simple html doc here and now i've added the script here and i just used a pico css it's quite great as compared to like it works on a normal dom elements uh so yeah no designing needed yeah so let's get started with this so once we have done the installation now let's get back to our basic syntax so to be honest htmlx doesn't have any syntax it's all about the data attributes which we are going to talk about so let's say you create a button and let me and this button will be basic nothing but it will be fire a request it will be firing request now um, let me just use an emoji here i just learned uh, how to send him how to select emoji today yeah okay it's control command space or windows control space on windows i'm unsure about it but you can try it out okay so this is our fire button so here we will be sending our first ajax request so by default whenever you want to send a request so hx uh, or htmlx by default gives you many um, what i say uh, http of uh, uh, types of methods to work, work on so let's say first we want to go with HT uh, the get request so the get request it's like this so now let me just take one simple example of the get products and here let me just take this example better now what I will do is instead of writing any big any JavaScript code here I just write it here now if I show you my network tab here if i try to let's fire the request as you can see the request is still getting fired but one thing if you see it's coming inside the button and it's changing uh, the text inside the button itself and i know many like this is not what we really need right now to tackle this uh htmlx gives another option that is called hx uh, swap is nothing but it takes the outer html so what it does is it basically uh swaps the response with the button itself instead of putting inside the button okay so what we do is let's go here now let's fire the event again uh i think i missed something it's html sorry caps lock it's outer so yeah and make sure that whenever you get do any mischief or any wrong htmlx always gives you uh, the detail in the console so now if we go to our network tab again now if i click on hit as you can see now the response which we are getting we are taking it directly inside the uh, element itself so this was about uh, the basic thing in instruction i think i have covered the most of it so i hope now you might have got some confidence of how this thing works and you can use it on your next uh, plugin for sure and one more thing lastly as i said it do supports htx get so now let's type post for post uh, let's go with the same example here and let's take a post request here so post usually gives a uh, a product id so let's go here and now if i type post and here what i do i i add the i update the link okay 
So now if I try to hit, so previous as you can see the request was get. Now if I try to hit enter this time the product has been added of 101 and this time it's the post. Same you can try for all the other rest uh, method it works the same with the update and then for same for the delete and then same for the option. So it depends upon the use case. So isn't it great? Like instead of creating, you can do it on the with the help of attributes. So in the next video, we will be diving more into the Ajax and we will be talking about something called triggers, which will actually is really insane. See you in the next video.